This is code.org. That's what we're working on. This program keeps track of ticket purchased for performance. Okay, so how many tickets? Got it. One of the buttons already has working code inside of it. The other two buttons will work very similarly. Rather than write and repeat code functions, 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 practice creating an update screen function that you can call inside of each on event. Run the program, see how it works. Cool. Adult ticket. $12. I want to be a child. Oh, right. These don't work. What if I'm seeing mm -hmm. more adult tickets? Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Cool. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So read the code for adult. Oh, it does work. Shocking. I got it. Um, and this is warning us that these aren't used yet, which makes sense because they're not being, they're not working yet. Decide which lines of code belong in update screen. Declare, which means make a new function, update screen at the bottom of your code, add any code that you will need to turn inside of the, run inside of the, inside of each button. Yeah. Add code to make child and senior buttons work. They should increase the total number of tickets sold and the money collected. Make sure you call or ask to run functions where necessary. All right. That might sound scary. Let's unscarify it. So here's adult button on click. What do we do? Well, we add one to tickets. Okay. That would make sense. Now, wait a minute. So if I made a function for all of these, how many would I need to add to tickets? If, if they click on child ticket, what would they have to do? Would they get a ticket? How about senior ticket? Is that a ticket? Yeah. So we're going to need that in all of the functions, right? So I'm going to move this, but I just am going to put it here to store stuff for now. So yeah, absolutely. Every time they click that button, they are going to need to up the amount of tickets. Any of them, child, senior, doesn't matter. Tickets would still go up by one. All right. If tickets are greater than 20, sold out. Now, does that mean total tickets or would that mean tickets for each uh, type of person? I bet it means total tickets. Think of a theater. You have 20 seats. It doesn't matter if it's 20 kids or 20 seniors. You are out of tickets. So we're going to need to check that each time. Oh, wait, did they tell us what goes in update screen? They did. You see this update screen? I bet that stuff updates the screen. Psh. We could also put this in there, but fine. We'll go with what they did. The reason you might not put that in there is because of uh, the function name wouldn't make as much sense if we call this update screen and we're changing the amount of tickets. Update screen. Okay. So what this is doing, set the dollars, set the tickets, label property. We're going to play a little song and check if we've sold out. All right. Now let me drag this all the way down here. And just to separate it out so you can see what's going on, put it up. And then again, each time I'll add one to tickets, which is why I could have put it in this function, but maybe they didn't want to. So I'm going to do this. But watch, if we're repeating code, I just, I, yeah, tickets is equal to tickets plus one. And then we're going to add it again here. I don't care what they say. They might mean for us to do that three times. But if you're repeating code, you probably don't have to. I'm putting tickets equals tickets plus one right there. Because it's a global variable, so we can access it in any function we want to. Okay? Now, dollars is equal to dollars plus adult price. Here, though, dollars is going to be equal to dollars plus child price. Okay? Because that's what it has up here. Yep. And then here, and we're putting this in this function because it's different for each. Here, it would be uh, dollars is equal to dollars plus senior price. Okay. And again, if you want to put tickets in tickets equals tickets plus one in all of these, instead of putting it in your function, go for it. All right. Now, what do we want? Now we need the function call. And that's where we ask the computer to actually run our function. So we have this function and the computer does not care. It never runs. We just have this stored chunk of code that never does anything at all. However, if we say its name, update screen, okay, right? Update screen. I'm going to just copy, paste the name there, update screen. You just want to type it in each of these. Then it will ask this to run. So let's run it and I'll show you what's happening. So I'm going to click child ticket. And then what happens there is the child button runs 
And then let's click here, senior tickets closer so you can see it. When I click senior ticket, it's going to say on event, oh yeah, dollars, boom, update screen. It will run the code in here and get to the bottom. Now, once it gets to the bottom, it goes back up here. It finds where it was asked to run. So it says senior ticket clicked, dollars is equal to dollars plus senior price. Okay, next line, update screen. What the heck is that? Oh, here it is, smack. It then drops down, runs this code, hits the bottom of this and says, okay, where was I? Boom. Goes back to here and says, oh, no more lines. Okay, I'm done. So I think I can speed it up to show you. Boom, child ticket. Boom, boom. <laughs> cool. We have a working application. So again, this is the function declaration where we make it, where we create this box with code in it. Update screen. That's when we call its name. Awesome. Let's keep going.